your girl april today's video is from a website that i've never actually heard of before so they reached out to me of course they sent me their 13 by 4 loose deep 20 inch lace front for one the wig is 116 dollars oh my god on the website the hair is not loose deep wave it's more or less like loose wave there's no deep waves in it but for this video i went ahead and i flat ironed it or i didn't really flat iron it i hot combed it and pressed it out and just did my own curls on it well the name of the company is called hairs market and i'll definitely post their information below like i said the wig is 116 dollars for 20 inches and that's 130 percent density for 150 percent density the price of the unit is $132. So it's still a really good deal. It's a 13 by four loose deep. You can definitely rewash it and the waves will come back because that is what I've done already. I went ahead and bleached the unit when I first received it, you know what I mean? And then I used the purple shampoo on it and then I let it air dry after rinsing it out. And then I pre-plucked it, girl. And then I had to rewash it just because I wanted the waves to come back without just spritzing water on it. And then once I decided to do all of that, I decided just to flat iron it or hot comb it and just style it just totally different. I'm trying to do something totally different with the baby hairs. So that's the reason why you see some long on one side and some cut already on the opposite side. I was watching a video. I was trying to do something totally different with the baby hairs. I'm not really sure if it's going to work out because it definitely did not work out on the mannequin head. This is something you need to do while you're wearing the actual wig because then you're going to have to cut the lace and it's like you did all of that for nothing. I'm thinking I sold an elastic band in this unit. Maybe I didn't. I just totally forgot. Um, It is 100% virgin human hair. It doesn't tell you if it's uh, Brazilian or not. It just says it's virgin human hair. It's 10A grade. No really shedding is what it says. No tangle, no bad smell. So it didn't come with a bad smell. Shedding, I can't really tell you about. So we're just going to get into it. But it says virgin Remy human hair. One thing that I'm not going to complain about, and it's not really a complaint, but you guys know I hate that flapping nape thing in the back of the lace fronts. Like it drives me crazy. I've been cutting them off like like just like a maniac lately i have probably have like four pieces already from just certain units this one just so happily does not have one of those flapping things like their flap thing is probably i can't even consider this to be a flap because it's not flapping it's just probably like a tiny centimeter away from the actual edge of the wig and this is how i really actually prefer them so that way they're a lot easier and you don't have to remove anything this is how I like them to be in the nape. So I did not sew an elastic band on it, which is surprising for me, but you know, sometimes you forget. But we're gonna see how it works with just the combs. It does have the combs in the on the sides and the one in the middle, which I've gotten used to now. I actually do like it. I used to complain about that, but you know. Then there's the comb and the adjustable strap in the nape. They said this is a 13 by four, which is a decent amount of space. Like. You can tell it's it's not a 13 by 6, but you still can part really good with this. So let's get into this. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to just remove some of the makeup from my hairline. You know, it's like I sat here for like two hours doing my makeup, you know, and then I got to kind of like wipe some away from my hairline. What's up, you guys? So let's get into this. The first thing that you need to do is go ahead and make sure that you clean off your hairline, okay? Even though it took me hours or like an hour to do my makeup, I definitely have to clean off the hairline. That will help your wig stay in place. So you can either use alcohol, rubbing alcohol, or a baby wipe, or just a clean washcloth and slip those combs in if you prefer. Time for a coffee break real quick, Dunkin' Donuts. So let's get into styling this puppy, okay? Now, first of all, as you guys see i'm just going to use my hair clips from the dollar tree you get four for a dollar girl don't be cheap okay don't be skimping get you some hair clips you can also find these silver ones there i think they're 12 in a pack for a dollar girl stop going to sally's beauty supply store and check out your local dollar tree these scissors also came from the dollar tree as well i am a dollar tree girl so i'm just going to cut the lace off of this hairline as you guys seen i did bleach the knots and i really did not leave the purple shampoo on after I finish rinsing the bleach out for as long as I normally do. For me, the 
process of leaving the purple shampoo on the lace is about two to three hours because it will definitely remove all of the brassy tones. So do not listen to the five minute thing on the bottle because it won't really help you. If you leave it on for at least two hours, girl, you good to go. Just stick that, you know, just stick it in the bag and let it just soak up all the lather from the purple shampoo. Now right here is where I'm um, basically customizing the wig. Only because some of the ear flap went over my ear just a little bit and even though you see it's very small it just still makes a big difference like because it's not going to allow it to sit flat to my head I'd have to tuck it behind my ears so I definitely cut those off it all depends on the wig company sometimes they'll fit perfect sometimes you'll have more than normal to cut off but either way make sure that you take your rat tail comb and you know you customize this bad boy so once again i'm just cutting the other side off of the lace and i'll show you once again how i removed that excess lace so here we go i'm going to take my rat tail comb and i'm parting it directly above my ear and it's not a lot of lace but it does make a difference okay trust me when i tell you you may see me come back in this video and cut off another small portion of lace and the portion that i cut off is very tiny but trust me when i tell you you don't want nobody seeing your lace girl so make sure you get it all okay now i'm just cutting i'm just going to basically bring down those baby hairs a little bit and i'm going to cut the ones that i did not cut off camera now and i'm just using an eyebrow trimmer you can use an eyebrow trimmer you can use a scissor you can use whatever you want as long as it gets the job done and you don't cut yourself okay the knots did bleach nice though on this unit like for real for real for real z like we can be for real z best friends you guys it did cut off really nice i mean it did bleach really nice okay i just didn't leave the purple shampoo on for long enough so i'm just gonna spray some of that got to be glam force hairspray underneath because sometimes that helps you know you could hold it down a little bit stronger all the holding force that you can get get it girl just get it i love this hairspray it works perfect for me it holds my wigs for a couple days i don't spray directly on the hair i spray in between the part from the baby hairs to the actual hairline that way the lace sticks down and it's good to go first step i do is i'll hold it down as you see me right now and i'll just use my blow dryer to blow dry, blow dry it a little bit then i'll come back and i'll take my rat tail comb and then i will use my rat tail comb to press the lace in so so, you know hold it down just for a few seconds just to let it dry just a tad bit and then you can get your rat tail comb and just go to town girl go ham on it just go ham don't just don't go too ham and if you don't eat pork then I don't know what to tell you but repeat it on the opposite side now it's time to style this and I'm gonna be using the got to be um, mesmerizing no volume at volume maniac mousse styling mousse so basically i seen this tutorial on youtube and i really liked the way this young lady was doing the baby hairs on one of her clients girl look bomb okay so i figured i would give it a swirl you know give it a whirl try it out see how it looked for me so that's why this video is titled for those who love the baby hairs or maybe i'll title it something different i don't really know right now but just go with it okay i do spray hairspray on my toothbrush because sometimes i just don't like to use the gel but look the hairspray does the works and girl look please that those baby hairs are sleek and shoot i think i did the damn thing all right now even for the middle i'm just going to spray a little bit of hairspray and then i'm going to mold it down with my rat tail rat tail cones are the best thing popping you can even get those at the dollar tree and repeat that step on the opposite side okay so this is what it came out to look like some of you guys may not like a lot of baby hairs but that's your preference you know what i'm saying i like them sometimes sometimes i don't you know we switch it up that's what we do and i don't really like the way the curls came out so we're gonna we curl them i'm gonna just get my big barrel curler out you know what i'm saying i'm gonna just twirl this hair around and i'm gonna give me that kind of like swept back Farrah Fawcett kind of type look you know what I'm saying I'm not really sure why they named it after her but that's what it's called I mean if you got a different name for it let me know because girl I'm tired of calling it the Farrah Fawcett I don't even really like her unless it's Charlie's Angels but you know what I'm saying just take your barrel curler and curl away girl however you want to curl it you know I'm trying to find like a new style to curl my hair but anyway let me stop rambling because that's what I do best and that's about it we're going to watch and wait for the end of the video. But anyway, you guys, I love you. And I'm glad that you guys stay tuned and watch this tutorial.
Are we lost? Are we not? Are we real? Are we turning to dust? Do you feel what I feel? Have we changed so damn much? Can we heal? You're not saying a word. There's a wondering. We lost all. Alright, guys. So this is the ending of the video. I had to recurl it because it just didn't come out the way I liked the curl to be, especially being that I had it pin curl for like two days. It was a little bit loose and kind of like not so straight. So, you know, good old curling barrel. So you guys, for the most part, the wig turned out really nice. It's super cheap. You can't be a hundred. I think I said $116. I can't remember, but I'll definitely post the link below. This is actually a true 20 inches. Like I've got some other lace front wigs that I've done reviews on within the past couple of weeks. And one was 20 inches and honeys. That was like 24, 22. It was just like a super long 20 inch, but for $116, you can't beat this. I mean, like, listen, it's nice. You can bleach it. I didn't do that great of a job with the actual, um, purple shampoo this time. I guess I did not leave it on. And for some reason I can never get my part to be like perfectly straight. It always ends up going slanted for some reason. I'm not really sure why. For $116, of course, you're going to have to customize it. The hairline was not that bad. You know, it was pre-plugged. It was thinned out, but I did pre-plug more. Um, all you have to do is bleach them. Just bleach them. For super cheap, $116, you can't beat that. Like, like I said, this is the first time that I've ever dealt with this company. I've never heard of Hairs Market. I thought it was just Hair Market, but it's Hairs Market. Okay, go figure. And you do get enough parting space. Like, this is a 13 by 4, so... Four inches is enough, girl, okay? You you good. And on the sides, of course, the parting is not going to go that far back, but definitely for right about here. But, you know, you can definitely go ahead and still put it in, like, some type of style of your preference because, listen, there's no flap. You can finagle it, girl. You can hook it up, okay? Use your imagination. So... I'll let you know what I think about this um, hair because I'm going to give you an update on it soon. But I love you guys. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Thumbs this video up. Make sure you share it and all that good stuff. All the comments down below. Read them, you know. And in the description box, there'll be the information for Hairs Market. So I love you guys. Let me know what you think of this wig right here. 20 inches. I think it's 150% density. And... That's about it. So I'll see you guys in a soon to come video.